Well, the timing could have been, have been more difficult for the Congress party to actually explain its stand here, and the BJP seems to be calling out what it says is hypocrisy on another level by the Congress party who is questioning Adani and also the alleged favoritism. But right now, it is the same company, Aditi, as far as the BJP seems to be calling out that they are having talks, their representatives are having talks with the Congress Chief Minister of Telangana. Well, exactly. And we have the reaction coming in from Union Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar. He says, this is hilarious tweet from Jairam who seems to push the boundaries of this newfound talent as a spinner. Kong fighting chronism and corruption is as believable as hell has frozen over or pigs can fly or Hamas is a peace-loving NGO or Augusta Westland VIP helicopters were brought to strengthen our security or Bhupesh Bhagat won 508 crores through gaming or Siddharamaya Karnataka government does not operate as ATM. A for effort, F for truth, Jairam Ji. Then we have Mahesh Jetmalani as well reacting to Jairam Ramesh saying, Jairam Ramesh is a consummate liar. The INC attack on the Adani group was not an attack on crony capitalism but a campaign to undermine an Indian multinational that had successfully on merit thwarted China's global outreach by winning contracts against Chinese bids for coal projects near Jaffna in Sri Lanka, rendering the China Stone Project in Australia, Galen Base near Adani's own coal project, uh, unviably by scaling down its rail line construction plan so that it would not serve, serve as the Chinese plant. Right. And other so far reactions coming in and saying that Jairam Ramesh is a contractual agent, bracket, and I quote, if I am wrong, Let's have that MOU in the public domain, Jairam, for promit, promoting Chinese strategic interests and sabotaging Indian corporates that serve India's geopolitical aims. All right, Aditi, thank you very much. So that's the tweet put out by the union minister there, Rajiv Chandrasekhar, who's calling the entire scenario as it is being playing out for the Congress party is hilarious because the Congress party, according to the BJP, has been unable to explain its stand and position. Is it only Congress versus Adani for politics? We have Somit with us on the phone line to help us explain exactly what had happened in that meeting, Somit, between the representatives of the Adani group and between Chief Minister Revant Reddy, because here the BJP is calling out the hypocrisy of the Congress party. Well, uh, you know, um, initially it was only the video was shared, and later the official information was given by the Congress party and also by the Chief Minister Office of the Telangana State. And they have stated that, you know, Adani group, has met Chief Minister Devan Reddy and they are ready to contribute for the state's development. That clearly means that, you know, several projects have been discussed and also even the government, the Telangana state government, because, you know, uh, IT Minister Sridhar Babu, Chief Minister Devan Reddy and other top officials were the present in that meeting. And uh, even they have spoke about the ongoing projects which were given consent during the previous government. And uh, even the other projects were, uh, you know, the proposals for the new projects have been put in uh, in front of this Telangana state government and uh, they have responded positively. That is what sources have confirmed. At the same time, several projects were discussed, the ongoing projects, the upcoming projects and also uh, the investments have been discussed. So uh, this is what the discussions were held and immediately after that uh, the bjp has come out openly and uh, you know they have without at the congress hypocrisy and uh, they are stated and even now like you were explaining like our colleague were explaining about um was explaining about Raju Chandrasekhar and uh, even yesterday mm. kishan Reddy has it out at uh, the you know the government and even other leaders have asked the congress party to immediately you know uh, put out an uh, unconditional apology and at the same time because yesterday the clearance was given from the sc and at the same time you know uh, they have questioned uh, you know so they what is the talk of the investment people. summit some uh, data center and aerospace park uh, all of the investment talks that happened between uh, the business conglomerate and the chief minister so um, uh, when it comes to the, the previous ongoing projects that uh, you know the, those projects will continue and the review meeting was held at the same time uh, you know in this meeting uh, Dani Aerospace uh, CEO Ashish was, was also present at the secretariat and also you know uh, Chief Minister assured that the Telangana government will provide adequate facilities and subsidies uh, right. to the new industries for industrial development and